welcome to WP Pin Manager. In this video, we're going to talk about shortcodes and particularly about our Zoom add ons shortcode and how we can use them in front end. So, what is shortcode actually? Shortcode is a one line of code which you can use to display a block or a section of data in a page using just one line of code. For a further explanation, let's go to our Zoom settings. We're gonna switch to short code description here. So here we see a short code for our meetings. So this is a basic example short code over here, which starts with event zoom meeting. Then we have meeting ID, we have link only, and show help. These all are tags, but actual short code is the event zoom meeting. So this short code what what it does, it allows us to show meeting details on a front end page. So what I mean by that, let's go ahead and create a new page. While this is loading, let's go to our all meetings. So previously we created a meeting from our Zoom backend. Let's go ahead and select that meeting. So down here, we can see our short code for this particular meeting. Let's go ahead and copy that. So over here, let's give this page a name and paste the shortcode. Let's hit publish. Let's open this page in a new tab. So in this page, this shortcode allowed us to show this all meeting data, such as this countdown timer, such a handy thing and our meeting details our meeting links and let's go ahead and let's tweak this shortcode and see what changes it does to our front end so we're gonna leave this meeting id untouched link only so if we go back here we can see like we have uh, two available properties which is link only and show help so let's add this let's add this show help here so link only it currently it's set to no let's change it to yes and <clears throat> And let's set show help to yes as well. If we hit update and load this page, if we see uh, what the show help tag did while setting it to yes, it allowed us to show Zoom's um, various application links over here, such as join by Zoom app, which is a desktop app, uh, download iOS app, or download the Android one. And what this link only is allowed us to do to hide that countdown timer and the meeting details like the host and time and the date such as so we can go ahead and tinker with this and set this to no and hit update and hit reload over here we can get back our countdown timer our host details time zone duration and such as so this is like such a handy feature Using like this one line of code, we can customize our Zoom meeting details in various way. So that's one thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you two other short codes from our Zoom settings. So here we have a submit Zoom meeting from and Zoom meeting dashboard. So let's go ahead and copy this one. Let's add a new page over here. Let's call it meeting dashboard. Let's paste our shortcode here. Let's click publish. If we switch over here and go to general settings and set this Zoom meeting dashboard page to our page we just have created, meeting dashboard and let's save changes 
and if we go ahead and preview this page here we have our meeting dashboard so here we can like see our upcoming meetings or the meeting listings how many meetings we have even edit them and delete them even we go to our back end for settings we can sync zoom meetings with our wp admin zoom add-on and we can even see the zoom user list so this is a handy feature if you don't want to use the back end and let your users use the front end to manage uh, mostly the all aspect of the zoom meetings and let your user manage your meetings from the front end so this is our zoom dashboard a small code makes this much difference we can uh, literally show our meetings in the front end uh, let the users manage those meetings from front end such as so let's go ahead and use this last bit of shortcode over here and see what it does so let's add a new page again let's add meeting paste our shortcode let's hit publish and if we switch over here again and we're gonna now select our add meeting page in place of submit zoom meeting from page and we're gonna hit save changes we're gonna come back here and let's open this page so this meeting dashboard shortcode and this submit from shortcode doesn't have any properties or tags to configure but uh, the even making details shortcode which we used here uh, it does so let's see what we have here we have our zoom meeting name we have zoom meeting description our meeting host our start date our start time our duration password this is like a exact replica what we did in our previous video while we added a zoom meeting from our back end but in front end so this allows your users to add meetings from the front end with a single block of code this is amazing i love using short codes and they are so much handy so that should be pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed these informations about short code and how you can configure them and i'll catch you in the next one